This summer I went on my first holiday abroad in over 10 years, so I needed travel art supplies. In this video I'm going to go over what worked, what didn't work, and also the fact that I actually brought a new travel bag. I'm also wanting to start convention tabling again at some point so this would be a really really great resource for me to actually have travel art supplies for. Let's start with the pencil case. This pencil case is the Lee Hit Lab pen case that is meant to be a book type of pencil case. It has two compartments in the front which I use for my business card. As you can see it's looking a little bit worse for wear because this pencil case was very well loved while I was on holiday. I also have a little swatch card for the watercolours inside. I will show you that in a bit. This is something that I recently discovered from another artist here on YouTube in her YouTube shorts. Her name's Leslie, I think. Uh, I will leave a link to her channel down below in the description. I came across this little device called the View Catcher. Now this is kind of like for landscape painting, but the main thing that sold me on this instantly was that you could actually do little thumbnail sizes and they'll come out exactly the same size each time. Perfect little thumbnail boxes, so this is really really good for helping to plan illustrations. Also, the view catcher is a mid-tone specifically, so you could actually colour pick through this hole in the middle and you're getting the truest colours because it's surrounded by a mid-tone. I'm not sure whether you can see it, um, it's very very subtle, but you can see little sizes on the side and they are actually miniature scaled down thumbnail sizes. For illustration so there's 8 by 12 there's 9 by 12 there's 11 by 14 and on the back there is 12 by 16 and 8 by 10 so that's really really handy <laughs> and let's take a look inside the pencil case so fun fact i actually did a tiktok going over what i put inside this pencil case and that was before my holiday so this video is actually filmed afterwards so you can kind of see what changed before and after my holiday. So in this one we have the pens and there's also uh, some pencils. First we have the Pilot High Tech C. This is just a regular pen with like a very very small needle nib as you can see. It is so so tiny and so cute. Then we have a regular pen to write with. Is this Pentel or Pilot? I think it's Pentel. It's the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Pen in gold. It's really nice to have a pen that you can use for details. I did take the other colours as well, but I took them in another pencil case in a separate bag. This is mainly my travel set, the stuff that I would grab right away. We have two mechanical erasers. We have the Tombow Mono Zero, and there's also the Derwent Mechanical Eraser. This one's great for small details and this one is good just overall. For my mechanical pencil, my trusted P205 by Pentel. It's a 0.5 lead. This is something that I added later on, but I found it really, really nice and I really wanna get the other sizes of this pen. Maybe not for the travel kit, but just in general, I love the Copic Multiliner in the colour Wine. I started using it for a Draw This In Your Style piece in my sketchbook and I absolutely adored it. This is just a plain 0.3. I think this came in the scroller box where Drawing With Waffles was featured, I think. The Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. So the Zig Manga Cut Flexible in Fine. This is a fine Fude pen. Now onto this, we have a bunch of pencils just shoved in here. We have a 2B pencil. I love my 2B pencils, so uh, we have a 2B, we have a B pencil here. This is a 4B water soluble graphite pencil. Then we have some Faber-Castell Polychromos in earth green yellowish, cobalt green, burnt carmine, pink madder lake, and Van Dyke Brown. Then these are all varieties of the same pen, so I'll get them all out at the same time. You can see that they're all different sizes. One, zero, zero, five, 
03 and a brush marker. These are the main fine liners that I use. They are so, so nice. They are the Unipin fine liners in black. They do come in other colors as well, but black is the main one that I use the most. So flipping over the page of this book pencil case, up here, we have a little metal tin. This is something that I changed from the TikTok style video. I actually brought these metal tins of Amazon. I think the smaller ones were in a pack of three and the bigger ones that you will see for the watercolor tin actually was a pack of two. But for this one, I use it to store my kneadable eraser. And they're just satisfying to open and close. Something that I store on top of this box is a bunch of small little magnets. These actually really help hold my sketchbook or even just the pot for the eraser onto the pages of my sketchbook by sticking a magnet underneath and a magnet on top of the page. Another trick that I picked up from Artist TikTok. <laughs> also in here we have a Coombe pencil sharpener. I've had this for a really, really long time. The metal is extremely tarnished, but it is still very well loved. Then we have a binder clip. I'm not gonna take it off so I can hold the pages of my sketchbook open. The other thing in this one, uh, there's actually two things. So first off, we have a little sponge. This was once flat, but once activated with water, it just puffed up into this giant marshmallow of a thing. But it's still pretty small and I really like fitting it inside of my washi tape. And my washi tape I use with my watercolor. In this one, we have some Q-tips. These are really great for removing excess water when watercolor painting. I think originally I packed about eight of them and there was about half of them left in here. This next thing is incredibly messy. This is a athletic sweatband, but I use it as my watercolor rag. Usually I'm the kind of watercolor painter to actually just wipe my brushes off on my leg or my t-shirt and having one of these is so so good because it means that I'm not constantly wiping paint off on my clothes. Also I can shove this into the wash even though uh, I have actually put this through the wash before and I think it's just stained. <laughs> but either way I could just turn it inside out and you have a fresh side. <laughs> but this is really great for blotting the brush. This actually came in a pack of two, so I actually have a fresh one here. This is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like after my holiday. So very well used, very well loved. So before I show you my watercolor kit, I am actually gonna show you the other supplies in here first. So first thing out of here is a mini mister. This is also a pipette. So these two kind of work in conjunction with each other for wetting the watercolour pans or also just providing extra water to where is needed in my watercolour paintings. This is also great for filling my water brush. So we have my little water brush. This was well used and well loved while I was out. We have a simple helix ruler. This has been in many different pencil cases and you can see that there is a crack in it. <laughs> So we have a bunch of pencils in here. We have a few Prismacolor Color Rays pencils in here, as well as a Palomino Blackwing 602 pencil. I do really love these pencils. Another 2B pencil, Derwent Cumberland Graphite 2B pencil. I'm really, really sad that these pencils are now discontinued because they were some of my favorites. And we also have an Artistro paint pen in white. Great for highlights. Now we're gonna focus on my mini watercolor paint set. This is a handmade watercolor paint set that I made out of this tin that I brought off Amazon. Half pans of Daniel Smith and White Knight's watercolor paint. So these first six pans up here are the Daniel Smith introductory watercolor set. They're some of my favorite paints. They produce incredibly translucent washes and they mix such vibrant colors. It's beautiful. Then these five colors at the bottom, these are white nights. So this is the little swatch sheet that goes with it. I picked colors that would mix very well with the introductory set, as well as colors that I would want for my own convenience. I did want a green for my convenience, even though I knew that I could mix other versions of green with the yellows and the blues. 
I have the extra room so I pick them out of convenience rather than anything else. Just like with the kneadable eraser box, it's also magnetic as well so it can stick to the sketchbook pages and is great for moving around and on the go. In the TikTok video I had a Snellier case. This was because at the time it's what I had and I was using it for what I needed. But I found that it made my pencil case pucker and bulge. I'm no stranger to overfilling my pencil cases but I wanted this pencil case to at least properly zip up easier so I knew that I would have to downsize the amount of watercolour I had. At least with having a mix of Daniel Smith and White Knight's watercolour I'm not compensating on the quality of my paints. Other brushes that I use with my paints are in this little travel pocket. We have four of them. Now, now the three that came in the set are these Meaden ones. They are all travel brushes and they all flip around into brushes that you can use. There's zero, four, six. I don't really go much bigger than a size six, especially while traveling, so that's fine. And also the biggest sketchbook that I use while traveling is an A5. There's also this Van Gogh paintbrush. It is actually a size six, even though it doesn't look like a size six because there's six and six right next to each other. Or is this meant to be a size four? I, I can't remember exactly what size it is, but it has a finer point and it also fits into this little case. So something that I can just grab and go is this Statler mini office. It's great because its lid actually snaps into a mini holder. It has a 0.5 mechanical pencil. It's a razor you can twist up. I've had this set for years. I wish I had this set during uni. It would have saved my life. There is this blue ballpoint pen. I'd say my only gripe is I wish this was black because that way it will be more useful in professional situations. You have a Tri Plus highlighter pen and you have a Tri Plus fineliner. When I do not have the time or the space in my bag to grab my pencil case, I will grab this. It is a lifesaver. Last but not least, we have this palette. This palette is incredible. I came across this on Amazon while looking and there's hardly any videos on this. I have seen a few pop up recently, but at the time when I found this, nothing was there. So you have a Stay Wet palette, which I have put some Heaney gouache in. And this Stay Wet palette also has a water bucket. It is so, so good. Inside here you can just see my paint puck. I haven't cleaned this bucket very well. You can tell how much I've used it and how much I've loved it. But I have a paint puck in there so I can swirl my brushes around. And I love the fact that it can just clip on to the, the palette. It's pretty easy actually and it has some brush holders on the side. I don't really use them all that much because I don't think my travel brushes can fit in them. But the intent is there and I really really like it. So in the Stay Wet palette, there is this silicone cover. I tend to make a mess of my fingers when pulling it off, as you can see. But this worked really, really well, and I really do love this palette. I used it a ton while I was on holiday, and I really, really enjoyed painting with it. The problem I have with the Hemi gouache is the fact that I feel like the palette is just too heavy to carry around, and I wanted something that was like the Hemi gouache but to carry around and the fact that this included its own water bucket as well I was I was sold it's all mine it's right it's right now <laughs> you can see that some of them have dried down at least a little bit and that's because I was in such a hot climate and we've recently had a heat wave here in the UK but apart from that this palette did exceptionally well I'd say the only issue I have is with the silicone mat um and that is only because I put it on in the wrong configuration and I got some of this blue in the white and I had to dig out quite a lot of my white just to fix that. And even now there's still a little bit of blue in there, but that was my own stupid mistake. So I've just got to remember to put it on in the right configuration. Otherwise I'll mix some of the colors up. In the back part of my bag, I actually had these two books. Let's zoom out. 
So these two books are my A5 Moleskin watercolour sketchbook and a dotted journal. I'm not going to open it because it has a lot of private stuff in there being my journal. <laughs> But this sketchbook, I'm not going to do a sketchbook tour of it just yet. Um, I have a little sticky note of ideas to do in this sketchbook. But in here, but in this pocket, this is where I stored some stickers to put on my sketchbook that I wanted to put on there, as well as the little swatch sheet. So I brought an extra piece of watercolour paper to actually just shove in my sketchbook so that way I could actually mix the colours and swatch them out before using them. Although in some cases I still did do some swatches in there. Because this is me we're talking about I love to swatch in my sketchbook. <laughs> and that was a little sneak peek of my sketchbook before I've even finished it. And for those who have stuck around in this video for this long I actually went to a decky in Tenerife. And I picked this up for about 10 euros, which is about 10 pounds. And I was so, so happy with it. It's like this front section is so deep and it fits all of my pencil case and my art supplies. This back section is really, really great for my journal and my sketchbook. And the other pockets are great for all the stuff that you would usually put in a handbag. This was definitely the best purchase that I made while I was on holiday. And there we have it, my travel art supplies. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys.